I guess uh, DJI just released uh, tonight uh, a new uh, app for the uh, uh, Phantom series, all the Phantoms 2 Phantoms 4, 4 Pro, Mavic Pro, Inspire, also the uh, commercial stuff that, that they're using. So basically that's going to be a, a bit of an equivalent to the uh, Litchi app that I've been using for uh, almost a year now. And uh, I really like it. I like it in a way that uh, you can start a mission uh, sitting comfortably inside your house and you can uh, look at what you want to do on your flight and uh, you can save it and uh, go do it, fly it. and. Uh, Basically, uh, that's the same, and it's uh, an app that uh, DJI just released. It's uh, only available for iPad. So if you're using a Mavic Pro with your iPhone, unfortunately, it won't work for an iPhone. You're gonna have to use an iPad. So in that case, in my case, pretty easy because I have an iPad, so I'm gonna use that. And uh, that's what the uh, app look like. And it's uh, basically, uh, it's I think it's been point towards the uh, commercial use because it can really do lots of stuff. It can do 3D mapping, so you can uh, 3D a map. I'm not really familiar with that stuff because I only use my uh, quad for fun, but uh, you can do all kind of stuff, I guess. 3D mapping, point of interest, so more to come on this tap and go waypoint flight so basically that's what i'm going to be using it for and uh, and i already have my uh flight plan ready for tomorrow to test it in the real world virtual fence i'm not going to use it for that industrial application it can be used for all kind of stuff commercial so i guess it's it's a pretty good app. I'm pretty happy uh, that I'm going to be able to test it right away. And uh, it's going to be, it's available right now for uh, uh, app, uh, Apple uh, Apple Store. So you basically go there and you download the app. And uh, yeah, so now let's go into the uh, iPad. And I'm going to show you how to uh, start a mission with it I guess what you want to do when you download the app the best probably to go to that dot 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 on the right and uh, um, measurement unit I'm using a uh, metric kilometers an hour you can use imperial uh, miles per hour or uh, metric meter per second I just find kilometers per hour is a good option for me and uh, so I already did a mission, new mission. So if you want to do a new mission, you would click that new mission in the right corner and then go from there. So I'm going to show you a mission that I'm going to use uh, to do uh, tomorrow, to do a test. Hopefully if the weather is good, that's what it look like. Edit and uh, oh, need to do a calibration. Uh, no, I won't do it. Cancel. Okay. So basically, what the mission look like? You get your name up there. So I just named that one mission one test. Mission type is a waypoint flight route. And uh, obviously you can use that for uh, mapping and all kind of uh, commercial use. But for me, I'm just interested in a basic uh, waypoint flight. And at the speed I got it going, so that's going to be basically uh, 1,095 meters. I got six waypoints. It's going to be 4 minutes 13 seconds at 25.9 kilometers an hour. Altitude is going to be 45.2 meter and aircraft heading defined per point and mission 
over. Obviously you can change the speed and you need to slide this left and right. It'd be fun if you could click on it and change it manually instead of moving that slider. I just find it a bit annoying. Altitude, same thing. At the end, so basically at every point, defined per point, uh, every point I'm going to align the heading and all that. Or you could have course align. That means going to be aligned with every uh, time you turn. Uh, be aligned. But uh, it's not like the lychee. It's not going to do a kind of a circle nice turn. I think it's going to get to the point and it's going to turn. We'll see when we test it tomorrow. So that's it. So every waypoint you can edit. So... If I go there, oh, I don't want to add one, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to zoom out. And let's say I want to go to that point. So at that point, I got the heading going right with the direction of the uh, flight. So each point. So basically, uh, the heading is going to be 0, 1, 0 for that. And my pitch angle is going to be at 10 degree looking down. At that point, no action. But on the first point, if I zoom in, on the first point, I put an action. So you put an action. And in that case, on the first point, it's going to start recording. And every leg there's a plus sign that mean you could add uh, another waypoint so every turn i put the heading uh, myself as you can see right there the arrow right there is pointing the way it's gonna go so you can either turn clockwise or counterclockwise and you see the arrow showing you which way it's gonna turn so that's the flight uh, that I got set up for a test flight tomorrow and uh, obviously when you connect to your aircraft it's going to be probably similar to uh, what the DJI Go look like you can have a radar right there your speed, latitude and longitude, altitude and probably a screen with what the camera is looking so in a nutshell that's what it look like and uh, it's looking like it's going to be really interesting to uh, uh, use that. I'm going to save it. So I'll get that mission ready to go for tomorrow. So I hope that uh, quick introduction to the app uh, is going to help you a bit to get going. And basically, uh, if you have a Mavic, it won't work with an iPhone. You're going to have to use an iPad for this. So... Uh, keep in touch. I'm going to post more video as I do the uh, test flight, uh, hopefully tomorrow if the weather is good. So enjoy and uh, fly safe.